The most popular law enforcement vehicle sold in the U.S. is the police interceptor. We have a 63% market share. Making Ford the king of police cars. But the automaker is looking to switch things up. We're introducing the new police responder. Uh, this is a preview of what we intend to offer to the market next year for police agencies in the United States. Unlike the Interceptor sedan, which is a gas-powered Taurus, the police responder is a gas-electric hybrid fusion. This is going to be the first ever pursuit-rated hybrid vehicle for police use. We'll be testing in the fall to confirm that at Michigan State Police and LA County Sheriff's, but we're, we're expecting to be the first to market with this type of vehicle. One that's expected to get 38 miles per gallon of gas, 20 MPG better than the Interceptor. It's designed to not only help the environment, but also save a few bucks for police departments. An agency could save uh, as much as $3,900 per year in fuel costs per vehicle. That's because the police responder's gas engine will shut off at idle, something law enforcement vehicles frequently do, allowing the battery to handle the electrical load for flashers, radios, and other items. We have found that the police agencies throughout the United States are looking for a solution that is sustainable. The Los Angeles Police Department added 100 electric cars to its motor pool last year, although the BMW i3s aren't for regular police patrols. Ford is banking that more departments will be in pursuit of going green. Mike Householder, Associated Press, Dearborn, Michigan.